overlays. If the size of the process is greater than the largest memory block which is available in the main memory, we can use the method of overlays to load the process to that memory block. So in this example of fixed partitioning technique, here the largest partition which is available is of size 150 KB. Assume the process to be loaded is of size 200 KB. Here the size of the process is greater than the size of the largest partition available. So in such cases we can use the method of overlays to load the process to the available partition. In overlays we divide the process or the object code into segments or overlays in which each overlay can fit into this available partition and each overlay is independent of other overlays. Each overlay requires all the data and code that is required for its execution and it need not access the data and code of other overlays. But for the proper execution of the process, there should be a particular order in which these overlays have to be executed. That this is the responsibility of the programmer to design the structure of the overlay as well as to program it. That is, bring the first overlay to the memory, then execute it, then replace it with the next overlay, and then execute it, then replace it with the next overlay, and so on. And the best example of this is 2Pass Assembler. In 2Pass Assembler, in Pass 1, it constructs the symbol table and in Pass 2, it uses the symbol table to generate the machine language code. So, for both the passes, symbol table and common routines are required. So, what is the total memory which is required for this process? 70 plus 80, 150, 170, it's 200 KB. But the largest partition which is available and is free is of size 150 KB. Now how to load this process to the partition? If we observe we can see that pass 1 and pass 2 are two independent cards and they need not to be in the memory at the same time. Hence, we can design two overlays, overlay A and overlay B. Overlay A consists of the pass1 code, symbol table and common routines and overlay B consists of pass2 code, symbol table and common routines. Now, the programmer should design an overlay driver which is responsible to properly load first the overlay A to the memory, then execute pass1. Then again the control is passed to overlay driver. The driver will replace overlay A with overlay B in the same partition and execute pass 2. So including the driver, what is the total memory required for overlay A? 70 plus 20, 90, 120 and 130 KB. And the memory required for overlay B is 80 plus 20, 100, 130 and 140 so 140 kb hence each overlay can fit into the partition which is of size 150 kb thus we can load first overlay a to the memory execute it then we can replace it with the next overlay overlay b and execute pass 2 but since the overlays are related to processes which are of large sizes, it's very difficult to realize the structure of such large processes and to design the overlay structure and program it. So overlays are not commonly used and it's, if used, it is used in the embedded systems.